Okay. Oh, good day, Nigerians. I am happy to be here live to talk to all Nigerians on what have transpired today. I'm Comrade Livingstone, the Secretary General of All Grand Peugeot Group of Nigeria. I'm not actually happy for all that has been happening in Grand Community. That's the truth. But to make the matter worse, all that has been happening in All Grand Peugeot Group of Nigeria. All Grand Peugeot Group of Nigeria is a house that we all have builded carefully. You see, the efforts of all Nigerians are what brought about the AGPGNU here today. And because of the interest of few people, AGPGN is somehow being mocked today. These are all because of personal interest of some individuals. Well, let me go straight to the business of the day. I woke up this morning in the early hours of today. Um, that was around uh, 7.40 a.m. to be precise. When I got a message forwarded to me by Mr. Chris Bako Abraham. Yes, Mr. Chris Bako Abraham is the publicity secretary of AGPGN. I got this message from Mr. Chris Bako Abraham. A letter of suspension. Wow. Um, it's okay. There is no problem. But I want to let Nigerians know that the letter of suspension that is uh, being claimed to have is suspended me here that everything in the content of this letter of suspension are all lies and have never been proven anywhere and I bet anyone to publish the evidence to these facts there is no evidence that is linking to this malicious lies that is being given as a reason for me being uh, suspended. Uh, AGPGN alleged that I removed them from the official platform. Well, uh, first of all, let me give us a brief story of what transpired that led to the removal of my fellow executives from my platform. Something was done to me and I was insulted publicly before the whole Nigerians. I was humiliated publicly before the whole Nigerians by my fellow executive members. I think on the sixth on the sixth month of this May 2024, I was at work. On the morning around 10, I was at work when I started getting calls. Random calls started coming into my phones about my being removed from public platforms, removed from AGPGN platforms. And I was surprised. I didn't believe that. I I think I have some who wrote me through text messages. I can equally do well to screenshot it and make it public if they need be. When those people contacted me, I did well to tell them. I asked them first, where did they get this information from? They told me it's on social media. And my response to them was that it is just social media rumor. That's because I didn't believe my executives, those who have fought side by side by me for years, that I have been there for them, I've visually given my life for them, done everything alongside them, will take such a decision on me. Well, at this point, I told those people that it is just social media rumor. During my lunch time, I used my lunch break time to try to go to the executive platform to know what is happening and know what you know, the activities there. And by the time I got there, I noticed that hostas that would have carried out 
a very very terrible act on the executive platform i would like nigerians to know that that executive platform was created by me on the 3rd of march 2021 that should be three years ago or three years plus now so i created that executive platform there was an argument in the platform and the camps were divided so i have to migrate people to a new platform where we can settle that dispute and have peace that argument actually went